Hi everyone and welcome to Film Dirt. This is my review of Batman Returns. I love this film. I, I wasn't as invested in this as I was with the first Tim Burton movie in 89. But there's a lot that's good about Batman Returns that I just want to just want to touch on. Uh, Michael Keaton again is excellent. He's really good Bruce Wayne and an uh, excellent Batman. I prefer the suit that he had in this one. It's a bit more tighter, more armoured. Always preferred that to the, the muscle type moulding of, of the original. The Batmobile, fantastic classic design. I'm so glad it's back in this one. Uh, they should have kept it in the, the subsequent films, but you know we'll, we'll touch on that. Uh, the Penguin, played by Danny DeVito, excellent. Um, and quite, quite... Creepy, I guess you could say. Uh, same with Christopher Walken. Uh, there's something creepy about him as well. I think they, they're usually is in a lot of his films. And he, he does so well in in bringing that to the forefront of uh, whatever part he's playing, it seems. Always enjoy Christopher Walken's uh, acting. I think he plays a new character. I don't know if it's ever covered in the comics. His side story here about stealing power i quite quite liked it it's like a yin and yang with with uh, bruce wayne at times i kind of felt that there was um, like an unwritten battle between them you know battle of wills i guess you could say and i really enjoyed that this part of the film one issue i've I always had with batman returns is that it always looked a bit set bound it always looked like there was a um, a studio environment it didn't look like a real place so I don't know if that was intentional it, it did kind of look claustrophobic in that it's like I don't know they're in like a, a theme park almost the whole movie felt like a, a self-contained entity whereas the uh, the Burton original always looked like it was it was more open I know it was a set as well but but in this one, it just looked more evident. And as I mentioned in the, in the first review of uh, Batman 89, uh, the 4K remaster, it's had a, a filter applied, a teal blue filter. I quite like the look because it kind of helps in bringing it out of its, its studio look it's when they're outdoors. And there's um, orange kind of, I guess it's orange filter when they're indoors so you get that difference and it's not always gray that looks played played the first film more than this i always felt that the first film was just a, looked a little bit gray and the, and the new remaster helped that film but it helped this film less so but i still see a difference in environments and i actually like the 4k remaster as i said in in my review of the first film i think it helped and I love the original version, but the remaster, I just like the, the pop in colour. Um, I'm not into into a lot of the desaturation that exists in film nowadays. I've, you know, the kind of sepia look. I love Zack Snyder's films, but I think they, he went a little bit too far with the desaturation. Uh, by all means, this, this film doesn't have it. You know, Batman Returns has always been colourful and there's always also been uh, quite a punch in, in its uh, monochrome <laughs> in its monochrome look, I guess. It's always a black and white, hard, uh, hard contrast type of look to it. But the popping colour now and the blue, kind of blue outdoors filter, yeah, it, it improves the film. I, I, I do enjoy it more. I've revisited the film recently and... Although I've always liked it, uh, loved it in fact, I always felt that it just wasn't as good as the first film for me. I really enjoyed the first film. There was a lot going on, it seemed, um, in the first film, you know, below the surface. In this film, it seemed just a bit more, a bit weird. <laughs> weird, really. I think that's the best way I can describe it. And I enjoy Tim Burton's films a lot, a lot of the time. A lot of, I know a lot of his films come across as a, a bit strange and they're always looking at 
you know, the problems of the underdog and, you know, the ex the exiled. And I think those are the th a lot of the themes that he, he likes to touch on. But I don't think Bruce Wayne is, is really an exile in this. I think he's played with a lot of charm by Michael Keaton once again. I think he should have stayed and done a couple more movies as Batman, really. I think he's uh, possibly my favourite actor that played Batman. As a character, he's quite quite engaging on the screen. Like, like I said, I enjoyed the new suit. I enjoyed uh, Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. She looks she looks stunning throughout the film. Uh, great homemade looking vinyl suit. I just think there's a quite an evident comic book type feel about about the whole film going on. I felt that the chemistry between uh, Catwoman and Batman was, was really good. I think it had just the, the right level of, I guess, innuendo. There's something there between them. I enjoyed every time they were in a scene together. Yeah, really good, really good movie. Four stars, four out of five for me. It's really good. Now just a little bit about myself. I'm not connected to any of the studios in any way. I've got a few reviews in mind that I'm going to be a little bit harsh to that are <laughs> probably universally loved by a lot of people. And I'm, I've am i got my own opinion on, on certain films and I don't agree with a lot of the, the published reviews that are already out there. I just give my honest view and I appreciate a good story. So I'll see you again soon for another review. Take care.